Hey everyone, it's me, Code1996, and I'm back with the Hoover React Professional Pet. And I want to show you a cool feature you can do with this Hoover if you're trying to use it on hard floors and you are having problems with it kicking stuff back at your feet. I haven't really experienced that problem, but just in case you are, you can download the app via your smartphone or tablet. You hit, you turn the vacuum on, you hit connect. It says React must be powered out of this. You hit Hoover React. Alright. I don't want to register. You can... It shows a little video about how it works. So, I don't want to name it. You can turn floor sets on and off via here, even though you can do it from there. And you can customize the hard floor setting to have it sweet or have the brush roll off. So, I'll show you that right now. So this, the brush roll is off and it's on hard floor. So I'm going to hit sweep right here. And now the brush roll is on. Just like that. I mean it does spin a lot slower than I kind of like it because it helps get the dust and dislodge the dirt. So I'm going to keep it on. Well, it seems to be picking everything up just fine. Oh, picked it up like that. Right, I gotta pick up the cord. See it bouncing. It's a stiff bristle. Floors aren't really that dirty today. Under. I think it fits under. It fits under without scratching. I hope. Yes. Oh, look at that. It fits.
picking everything up. Now we're going to transition to a tire pack. Open the vent all the way. So we're going to turn it off. Turn it back on. It's got a lot of power. It really wants to pick up this rug. Alright. Can't vacuum this rug by myself. So. We're gonna go to my house. Now on hardcore. I'll probably do the same thing with this one. Doesn't matter how many times I get. for this much. 
so every vacuum does. Uh, it goes a little further down in the Dyson. Oh, look how easy it was to turn it. It stays all the way down. Uh, except for that one time. That's cool. Look at it spin inside. Well, now it's down in the air path, so it should go through. Yeah. It was a bottle cap. A water bottle. It's about clean. You do under this side right here. Alright. Alright, so let's take a look. I'm scared that the filter might have some carpet fuzz on it. Okay, so the max fill line is here, and we've gone up. Not really meaning to. But since it is carpet fuzz, it didn't really compress down low because it was mostly carpet fuzz and not a lot of dirt. But you can see some of it got wrapped around the metal shroud. So you're going to have to pull that out and clean it or reach your hand up and get it out. Alright. So inspection of the cleaner. It... Seems to be doing a good job with filtration. Doesn't really look like there's a lot of dust being emitted out of the vacuum. I don't really see a lot. So let's remove this. Wow. Oh, look at that. Now, I read somewhere that you need to wash this filter every four to six uses. Now, I don't know if they put that for like every single vacuum because this does not look like I'm gonna have to click wash the filter every four to six uses. So, that's just, there's no, nothing. I don't even see any discoloration from dust open the cyclone wow that is crazy I want to know how Hoover did this that is that's something this is very something <laughs> this is incredible like not one piece of that carpet fuzz went through into the filter. My Dyson doesn't do that. There is hair and sand in my filter of my Dyson. Like, right after I clean it, there will be, in my vacuum, there will be sand. And this, not one piece of sand in there at all is incredible. <laughs> That's very, very crazy. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.